Julian Assange will not be extradited to the United States from the United Kingdom. On January 4, 2021, UK judge Vanessa Barrister said she cannot extradite Julian Assange to the United States because if he's put into prison, the abhorrent and inhumane conditions will likely cause him to commit suicide. And on January 4, 2021, after hearing this news, Mike Pompeo is the first human being in history to literally shit a brick, like like an actual brick, you know, the, the rectangle, rock-like substance, red, I think it's made out of clay, it might be a clay-like substance, but, but he actually shit one out after hearing this news. Now look, th- throughout this whole show trial, Judge Barrister has been, uh, what's the most British way to put this? unkind, callous, and a downright bitch to Julian Assange. And yes, that is me being polite about the situation. Look, she called him a narcissist, which is only the second worst thing he's been called. This is absolutely a win for Julian Assange. It's also a win for everyone in the states that has been fighting against the prison industrial complex. For the first time, we have an official judge saying that the American prison system is a crime against humanity. And she wouldn't even wish it on her worst enemy, which in this case seems to be Julian Assange. On an international stage, it it was stated That the American prison system does not rehabilitate, but rather emotionally and mentally breaks you down as a person. The fact that the United States uses solitary confinement as a method of punishment, something the rest of the world considers torture, means that no human being should be forced to endure such atrocities in the name of justice. And for anyone that hasn't realized this just yet, this is the same prison industrial complex that is a part of the mass incarceration program that both President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris created and championed throughout their careers. This is something they have said on numerous occasions that they are proud of. These two so-called leaders have taken pride in the creation and operations of a system that has tortured and taken the lives of millions. This means that they are sociopaths who actually think a suicide torture complex is good for humanity, but more importantly, it is good for America and helps us build back better. Listen, crumbling infrastructure won't build itself, so clearly prison labor camps are the only solution. Okay, these type of people should not be in charge of anything that contains a carbon atom in fear that they might torture electrons for the crime of being too negative. And then tell us how proud they are for protecting the subatomic. But don't worry, you guys. The Biden administration is already figuring out a way to blame Russia while exiling Assange to a remote island near China so they can spin a false narrative that he's a communist spy who's trying to assassinate Uncle Sam from your patriotic hearts. Look, over the last two to three years, myself, along with a plethora of comedians, journalists, politicians, and even a UN rapporteur on torture... Niels Melzer has said Julian Assange's mental health has been degrading during his time in the asylum and has even become worse during his prolonged confinement at Belmarsh Prison. Assange has been in deep depression, had suicidal thoughts, and has been diagnosed with a mild case of autism. Assange was illegally taken to Belmarsh, a maximum security UK prison, over skipping bail over a case that has been caught, dropped three times for a lack of evidence. This is just like putting people in prison for life over the possession of a plant that the United States government doesn't understand because the plant, when smoked or ingested, causes euphoria and feelings of, you know, like not committing war crimes every 2.8 seconds. Clearly these things are way too dangerous! And Assange has been tortured Throughout this process, too, he was spied on during his time in the Ecuadorian embassy by UC Global on behalf of the CIA, which means UC Global CEO 
David Morales and various members of the CIA have watched Julian Assange poop and masturbate, making them peeping toms with a security clearance. During his trial, he was kept in a glass box in the back of a courtroom, unable to defend himself or figure out what was going on. Cannibals and serial killers are given more respect in a courtroom than this, and his time in Belmarsh has been riddled with, uh, with, with the cold and, and long periods of solitude and guards who remain unmasked and are contracting COVID. And these are just a few examples of how Julian Assange has been a victim of torture thanks to the United States, which seems to have a black belt in torture. A belt which it uses consistently to gag the First Amendment without consent. Now, as of January 6th, 2021, the same judge said that she can't extradite Assange to the United States in fear that he might commit suicide from prison conditions has denied Assange bail, keeping him in Belmarsh prison under the pretense that he's a flight risk. She also stated that the United States can appeal their decision. And the U.S. has a great defense to appeal, right? Mental health isn't real it's something cowards made up to excuse their weakness and america you know is a nation of of powerful men and sometimes they let women talk too which makes them benevolent and autism is just a fancy way of saying can't have a beer with them and in america if you can't have a beer with someone they're probably russian trying to steal your freedoms mic drop Let's get those shackles on Assange, and someone, please, do something about Pompeo's torture erection. It's just, just kind of staring at everybody. It's, it's torture to look at his torture erection. Look, Assange's lawyers fought back and suggested that he put, be put on house arrest with an ankle monitor that has a GPS tracking device, but the judge wasn't having any of it. I mean, come on. He could very easily hack that monitor and reprogram it to... Spread Russia juice all over the UK. I mean, there'd be tiny Putins everywhere consuming liberties and turning all the tea into vodka. Won't somebody think of the children? The decision to stop Assange's extradition because of the negative effect it would have on his mental health, but then to deny him bail to keep him in the prison that has deteriorated his mental health calls the judge's mental health into question. With a new, more contagious strain of SARS-CoV-2 spreading around the UK, why put Assange in a condition that will only continue to negatively impact his mental health, but also continue to put his physical health in danger? This is so illogical that Vulcans in a distant solar system have collectively had a brain aneurysm. Not only that, but during the extradition hearing, she validated the oligarchy's claim that he's a hacker with virtually no proof. She cited the one CNN article that was written about Assange in a decade, which I broke down to be a farce earlier this year. I guess technically earlier sometime last year. But she goes on to say that this is evidence that he's dangerous to democracy look cnn is to journalism as Zack snyder is to the dc universe they only understand a fraction of what's going on and they use their mediums as a means of propaganda to ruin everything they touch cnn article printed blatant lies that were debunked about a man who has never had to retract a statement because that's his job Comedians have more journalistic integrity than anyone on CNN. For fuck's sake, the article itself that tries to debunk everything we know about Julian Assange has been debunked. They had to retract most of the statements. If you're going to claim that Julian Assange is not a real journalist, then you'd better add Rachel Baddow, Anderson Cooper, Jake Tapper, Wolf Blitzer, the New York Times staff, the Bezos-owned Washington Post, and everyone that has, ever will, and, and is currently working for Fox News to that list, too. Till then, Julian Assange remains to be one of the best and most ethical journalists and publishers on the planet. Look, there's only one end result to the show trial, if you care about press freedoms and upholding the Constitution. Pardon Julian Assange and set him free. At this point, he's going to need to recover from all of the state-sponsored trauma and torture. 
WikiLeaks will probably continue to do the work that they do. Assange needs care. And if this judge doesn't free him, then she doesn't care about press freedoms. But more importantly, she doesn't care to preserve what little humanity the criminal justice system may have. Pardon Assange. Free Assange. And that has been your dispatch for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, if you, hey, if you uh, enjoy uh, this content and you would like to uh, help this show out, uh, you're, you're a fan of the show, you're a fan of the things that I do and you want to help out, uh, there is a couple different ways you can do that. If you are in a position where you can financially contribute to the show, you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com. You can make a one-time donation or you can make a, become a sustaining member and make monthly contributions to the show. Uh, but I know things are tight. I know we are in uh, in a difficult time right now. So financial contributions are not something that you can make. Uh, you can also share this stuff out. Sharing is a big way that you can help out a show like this. I have uh, usually a lot of my content gets censored, gets suppressed by uh, the larger tech companies like Facebook, like YouTube. Uh, so I depend on you guys sharing and getting the word out. Uh, and you can find all of all this stuff, including past episodes of the show, videos, my stand-up comedy albums, links to donate, ways to share, uh, right on my website, which is krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Thank you guys so much 